is a two-day event. This year it was September 18th and 19th, Friday and Saturday. Sunday is just a um, makeup day in case the weather is not good on Saturday. There's lots of inflatables. Uh, it's two dollars to do each inflatable. Five dollars for the rock wall. They even have an ATM out here. <laughs> Someone was thinking. They were thinking pretty good. Because there's going to be lots of good food, and you may want to give your kids or grandkids a lot of rides on the bounce houses at two dollars a piece. And you can buy a little miniature inflatable hot air balloons. Of course, we're in the line at the IKEA booth, and IKEA opens September 30th, so they're here at the balloon race, and they've got free stuff, and they're having you sign up for their IKEA family loyalty card. So. We're gonna do that. Let's see what kind of free stuff we got. We got signed up, and Donna got the big IKEA bag. You could get that. You could get that or a mug. It's huge. We could put our grandson in that. It's like a little bitty playpen. <laughs> Donna's enjoying her IKEA bag slash parachute slash tent. It's really big. You could put an IKEA coffee table in there, I think. And of course, the Smoothie King. He's here, busting some dance moves. Smoothie King's drawing a crowd and he's getting the hugs and everything. Everybody's glad to see him. So there are celebrities here. People get here early and set up their little shade areas, their canopies, and get camped out and ready for the balloons to get brought out. We're going to go check out the Purina Children's Entertainment Area right after I get Donna's picture with the dog. You can sign up and get little cat hats or dog hats. Dog treats. They're letting the kids run through the obstacle course here like the dogs normally do. Which I think there'll be a show about one o'clock where they'll have dogs running through it. Well, maybe they'll get a treat after. Yeah. You'd think they'd get a reward. Purina Farms has an animal petting area. That's cool. It's not just for kids, is it, Donna? I hope not. We can pet them. They're just there waiting to be petted. So they're going to get petted. Hey, how are you doing? Does he have a name? His name is 201. He has a number. Uh, hey, number 201. He's a nice, so nice furry. Fur. You'd make a great sweater. A nice coat. There's his friends. 507 and 425. They're doing some gymnastics over there. A demonstration from St. Louis Elite. They're doing face paintings. PNC has a big tent. We're gonna get something here to eat, just a regular hot dog, corn dog, or hamburger. The lines aren't long. What are some good things to bring that maybe we didn't? Things that we forgot, that's how we're gonna name it. Um, number one, sunscreen. So, but I mean, I'm not bad. I'm like completely covered. Poor Stan. His knees are probably gonna be burnt, bless his heart. Uh, they're fine. Uh, wet wipes. Hand sanitizer, probably a good idea. Um, tennis shoes, I wish I would have brought instead of my boat shoes. Um, bottled water in a cooler would have been smart. A lot of people brought coolers. And coolers were allowed to bring in, and a blanket would have been smart. Blankets, canopies, apparently if you want to put those up, you can. And I believe the PA announcer just said that this is the 43rd year of this event, and the only balloon race that's older is the one in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and that's only older by one year. So this is an event that's been around a long time, and it, I think it just keeps growing. The announcer also said that they expect 125,000 people to be here over the two days. 
counting the balloon glow and the actual race today. So pretty big crowd. If you have a dog, this is a very dog friendly event. I see a lot of kids here and families. And it's a really nice family event. is a big thing this year at the balloon race. But right now we're getting dipping dots. I'll be dipping with... dots. Say it again. Ice cream of the future. But we get it today. This is the future. This is the future now. Yes. Dipping dots. When you eat these you're living in the future. Mm. Yeah. It's like back to the future. Cool. In the present. In the present right now. But future now. Warenberg giant bag of popcorn is getting bigger. There's a couple of fire engines here next to each other and they're holding up the flag between them. It's really cool. It's strung between their ladders. Hi. Hi. Donna was nice. She just saw a little boy sitting with his grandma. No one else was tell that story. How about you giving him five dollars because you felt like you should for ice cream? I won't. I won't tell that story. <laughs> Fourth park, and we're at the balloon. The last two haven't come out. Three have jumped out of the plane. One, two, three. I don't know. Right now, I think they're headed towards the corn dog shop, so that's not a good idea. They could be hungry. <laughs> One of them might be headed towards the dipping dog. The purple and red. Still in the air. And there's two out. And he's on the ground! Right. Woo! Woo! Where's the other one? Here comes the other one. And he's Woo! down! Nice. And this one has the American flag. There's another one? Yeah. And they announced that the flag will like briefly or barely touch the ground because of safety reasons, but they meant no disrespect by that. Oh, oh look at him, he's just like hovering over. Wow. That was awesome. Long enough, we're gonna get a Kona Ice, tropical shaved ice. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Make a face for the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Donna's going pina colada. I'm gonna get blue, blue raspberry. It's about 4:20, so about 4:30, I think it's supposed to start. And the object is to be able to negotiate the wind current uh, and follow the hair balloon. The hounds are going to follow the hair balloon. And when the hair balloon lands, it puts out a big white X. And then the hound balloon that has negotiated the air current uh, it, so that they can land as close as possible to the, to the hair balloon, uh, they will drop a bag of bird seeds. And the balloon that is closest to the center of the X is actually the one that wins. Some of the balloons are starting to inflate. Yeah, they burn a hole in the side there of that balloon going up. It leaned over when the flame was going. Put a little hole in it, but nothing major. This will be the hair balloon when it takes off the PNC Bank balloon. the PNC balloon. The hair balloon is off. Larry, you can see once they're up how fast they're out of here. That wind is really good. It's a great day to fly. 
And the hound balloons are getting ready to go take chase. Excitement. That has to be awesome to be up in one. I've never been in one before. Bear is out there waiting. He's got a good head start. There goes the curves. Curves balloon is off. Pro plan.
I think the dogs have really enjoyed the balloon race today. He's been a good dog. He even sang along with the national anthem. There goes that one. There goes one. I like that they always tell the pilots to have a soft landing. I guess what more could you ask for? Hi. Hi. What'd you think? It's cool. I'm enjoying it. Pretty fun day, huh? It was. I just... This guy is trying to control where the balloon goes, even when it's tethered. He couldn't weigh more than 160 pounds himself. And he's like controlling this balloon and like, how heavy are these balloons, do you think? It had been a long time since we'd been to the Great Forest Park balloon race. And when we got there, we found out that this is an event that has really grown over the years. We got there early and set up our chairs along the ropes so we had a good spot. And then we explored. There's lots of entertainment for all ages. There's bounce houses and climbing walls for the kids. There's lots of food. There's food trucks and other vendors. And it's very dog friendly. It's sponsored by the Humane Society and Purina. I don't know if it is every year, but you were definitely invited to bring your dogs. And the event was just great overall. A great day for it. The balloons all got off and it was just uh, beautiful to watch. We would go again and we'd really recommend that you try it out too sometime. Thanks for watching and have a great day and please like, share, subscribe and come back and watch us again. Bye.